Hi, this is Dr. Steve Solomon from Gulf Coast Ultrasound Institute in St. Petersburg, Florida. I'm talking to you about your hot tip today is the intersection syndromes of the dorsal forearm and the wrist. We know there's two different intersection syndromes, the more common being the proximal intersection syndrome where compartment number one crosses over number two and the more distal or less common intersection syndrome, the distal intersection syndrome where compartment three crosses over two. So both involve compartment two with one crossing over two first then distally three crossing over two. So as I put my transducer down at the distal forearm, I'm looking for two bones here. One on the radial side being the distal radius and on the ulnar side, the ulna. As I scan more distal, we'll see that dorsal aspect of the radius will flatten out. And I'm looking on the dorsal side for a little ridge here known as Lister's tubercle, this here. And I know that that's going to separate compartment number two from compartment number three. We know there's six extensor compartments. Compartment number two and compartment number three are divided by Lister's tubercle, which is right here on the dorsal aspect of the distal radius. As I scan proximally, we see two tendons and their muscles crossing over the top of compartment two. This is compartment one, containing the abductor pollicis longus tendon and the extensor pollicis brevis tendon. These cross over the top of compartment two, and this being the more proximal intersection, where I'm looking here for fluid between the tendon sheaths or inside the tendon sheath, indicative of tenosynovitis, and this would be positive for proximal intersection syndrome, the more common of the two, also simply known as intersection syndrome. Then as we scan more distal, we can see here again, compartment one crossing over the top of compartment two, And then continuing the distal, compartment three containing the extensor pollicis longus tendon will then continue and cross over the top of compartment two as well, heading over to the thumb. This being the less common of the two, the distal intersection syndrome, looking for the same things. And this can mimic decuervans tenosynovitis or snuff box pain with escapoid fracture. So again, compartment one over two, and then compartment three over two both intersection syndrome proximal being more common and the distal being less common. Well, that's your hot tip of the day. Now you give it a try.